a friend of mine really loves the special occasions in her life birthdays anniversaries birthdays of her children and the whole excitement is around gifts and i used to feel really odd about it especially because i am not a materialistic person and i just couldn't understand why would somebody pay so much importance to gifts only few years back i got my answer I came to know about this concept of five love languages. Each one of us we have a primary love language and it's our own. Gift is a valid love language. Every time she receives that gift, she feels loved. She feels touched. It's her love language. For my husband, it is physical touch. He loves to hold hands, he loves to hug every time our daughters go out they come in he hugs them he meets my mom he meets his bhabhis his family that's his primary language and then if i talk about myself it's quality time i evaluate the love that i get from the universe through quality time spent with me if at the end of the day by the evening i feel that i'm getting cranky or my family senses it they know exactly what i need my daughters my husband they take me out for a walk and i'm back to normal because my need of feeling loved is taken care of and then there are people who for for whom it is words of appreciation they really want to be appreciated if you say good things about them they feel touched they feel loved and the last love language it's acts of service which is the love language of both my daughters every time i do a simple thing like packing a lunch for them or giving them a plate of cut fruits they they get into this thank you mama love you so much you're so kind and i i'm like what i didn't do much but it's their love language when somebody does an act of service for them they just feel too much loved so each one of us have a love language it is either gifts or quality time physical touch acts of service or words of appreciation you do have it and if you are interested in finding your love language all that you have to do is to go to five love languages.com number 5 five love languages.com take the quiz and you will be able to figure that out and i strongly suggest find out the love language of your spouse your partner ask them to take the quiz it will come very handy because you will know where to hit the hammer hope this helps and takes your relationship with your friends with your partner with your children and even in the office space because slowly as you understand the concept of love language you will understand by looking at a person again and again looking at the pattern in their life what is their love language and that's where you have to hit hard